Sarah Ferguson and Prince Andrew are closer than most divorced couples and it is entirely possible their relationship rekindled over the years. Sarah Ferguson, affectionately known as Fergie by British royal fans, and Prince Andrew divorced on May 30, 1996. However, they have remained very close, and brought up their daughters, Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, together as a united family. But several interviews released by Fergie, claims the couple often live together at the family house, the Royal Lodge in Windsor, for long periods of time and hints scattered across social media have constantly fueled speculation the pair got back together. And, according to Kyle Soden, sexual health and relationship expert at doctor for you there are still feelings shared by the couple. He told, had the relationship rekindled? Entirely possible. I think it's clear that there are still feelings there between them. Mr. Soden explained how both the efforts made by Fergie to be welcomed back in the royal family and the couple's love for their daughters may have helped to bring Andrew and Fergie back together. He continued, it's not uncommon for a divorced couple to adopt a co-parenting partnership and stay friendly, although it is a lot more uncommon to be as close as Sarah and Andrew are, though it's not a bad thing at all. Sarah has admitted that, despite her and Prince Andrew's differences, she didn't want a divorce. This, as well as her actions since the divorce, such as seeking friendship from the Queen and happily going back to work rather than chasing a large settlement, I believe allowed the pair to separate without the typical animosity. This created the perfect opportunity for a friendship to flourish in spite of the scandal in the 1990s. Fergie and Prince Andrew's work as parents have been praised even by their daughters. On one occasion, Princess Beatrice described them as best divorced couple in the world, proving how they still share a unique bond. Mr. Soden, speaking about how divorced couples can sometimes work together for the well-being of their children, said, Divorces are often accompanied with a lot of clashes between both parties, especially when children or real estate are involved. She also said they are bigger than friends in an interview with Hello! magazine, adding, we work in unity and Andrew and I are focused on being good parents together. We learn from each other, support each other and understand it's about communication, compromise and compassion. Princess Eugenie, their youngest daughter, sent fans into a frenzy in late July, when she celebrated with a sweet message on Instagram her parents' wedding anniversary despite their divorce. And earlier this month, the couple jetted off to Spain together with their daughters for a family holiday, after having spent time at Balmoral Castle with Queen Elizabeth II. Sarah Ferguson broke cover today as she joined daughters Beatrice and Eugenie at Ellie Goulding's Alice wedding amid the Jeffrey Epstein scandal. Fergie, 59, beamed and waved as she arrived for the star-studded event showing no signs of stress after supporting ex-husband Prince Andrew while he faces scrutiny over his relationship with pedophin and C. Repstein. And Fergie was just one of dozens of big names to attend the ceremony to see the chart-topping singer-songwriter tie the knot with her art dealer fiancé Casper Jopling, 27, in the gothic splendor of York Minster this afternoon. The raft of celebrities include Orlando Bloom and his fiancée Katy Perry, Sienna Miller and Prince Harry's ex Gressa Dibbenes. And it's no surprise that royalty is among the stars at today's wedding, with 32-year-old Brit Award winner Goulding performing at the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's wedding party in 2011 and, with her fiancé, was a guest at Princess Eugenie's marriage last October. Prince Andrew, 59 wasn't seen arriving at the ceremony, believed to have flown home from a golfing holiday in Spain for crisis talks with royal advisors. He had recently holed up in the remote Spanish hotspot of Soda Grande with ex Fergie, with insiders saying she had wanted to be the shoulder to cry on in his hour of need. Under the spotlight. Andrew has faced continued scrutiny over his relationship with Peter Epstein who hanged himself on August 10 while awaiting trial for sex trafficking charges. The financier's alleged sex slave Virginia Roberts claims she had sex with the prince aged 17, which he strongly denies. Ms. Roberts, 36, 
who now uses the surname Jufri, had her claims against the royal thrown out by a judge who deemed them immaterial to her defamation case against Madame Ghislaine Maxwell. Prince Andrew released a statement this week condemning his former pal. Buckingham Palace also said the Duke of York would help authorities in any investigations into the disgraced millionaire. Andrew said, It is apparent to me since the suicide of Mr. Epstein that there has been an immense amount of media speculation about so much in his life. This is particularly the case in relation to my former association or friendship with Mr. Epstein. Therefore I am eager to clarify the facts to avoid further speculation. I met Mr. Epstein in 1999. During the time I knew him, I saw him infrequently and probably no more than only once or twice a year. I have stayed in a number of his residences. At no stage during the limited time I spent with him did I see, witness or suspect any behavior of the sort that subsequently led to his arrest and conviction. The Duke was last pictured with Epstein in New York in 2010 after the hedge fund manager had been released from prison and was a registered sex offender. This week, the Duke of York made a rare public appearance as he relaxed on a yacht at the Dartmouth Regatta. Prince Andrew arrived by boat in Devon for the port of Dartmouth Royal Regatta, which he is patron of. One onlooker said, he looked very relaxed and happy and seemed to be taking everything in his stride. 